Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel Among in Cloud. In this video, we are going to see how to host our Next.js application on an EC2 instance using something called as Coolify. Now, you might be wondering what is this Coolify? Coolify is an all-in-one pass that helps you self-host your applications, databases or services like WordPress, Ghost, etc. So you don't have to manage any servers and this is also known as open source and self-hostable Oracle, Netlify and Versal alternative. So you might be asking what are the features that it offers. Basically when it comes to features you can deploy it is compatible with all languages and you can deploy your services on any servers including your own servers, VPS, Raspberry Pi, AWS EC2, Digital Ocean, Linode, etc. And it can help you with any type of your cases. It can use your Git repository. It can be your own private repo or it can also be a public repository. And the cool thing is it also provides free SSL certificates if you want. And you can also take backups. You can take the backup and place it in your S3 bucket itself. That is one good cool feature that I came across and there are a lot of things that you can go through. Now in this video what we are going to do is we are going to create an EC2 instance. On this EC2 instance we are going to deploy Coolify. Okay? After deploying Coolify we will host or we will self host one of the next JS application that is already there. So remember this is not going to be a development video it is going to be a deployment video i'll show you how to create ec2 uh, install coolify and host next.js application and i am not going to write any particular code for next.js if that is clear to you let's jump onto the aws console and start building this project all right uh, as discussed in the introduction video we are going to create an EC2 instance. So let's go ahead and select EC2. We are going to name that EC2 instance as Coolify server. Let's give that a name, Coolify hyphen server. All right, so let's go ahead and select Ubuntu. If you ask me why am I selecting Ubuntu, that's because if you see here, it suppose these type of operating system, one is Debian, Red Hat, SUSE, Arc Linux and Raspberry Pi OS. And it supports both AMD64 and ARM64. Other than that, you also get two CPUs. You need two CPUs and two GBs of memory in order for you to work with Coolify. So what we'll do, I will select Ubuntu for the ease of this demonstration. I'll keep the architecture as 64-bit. And instead of T2 Micro, I'll go ahead and select T2 Large so that I'll give enough memory for the instance. Okay, key pair, I'm going to select the existing one, which is AMC demo. If you do not have, just click on this, give it a name and click on create key pair. It will automatically download. So with that being said, let's go to the networking settings here. I'm going to click on edit. I'm going to use the same uh, default VPC, which is good for me. And subnet, I'm, I'm just leaving it as default with no preference so that the AWS can select a subnet for me. And we also need a public IP, so I'm just setting that to enable. And we need a firewall, which is also known as security groups. If you want, you can create a new one, but I'll rather use the existing one. So I'll select that and I'll select Linux SG. I'll show you what are the rules that we have in Linux SG in a while. So let's leave everything else as default. And if you see, if you want, if you're wondering if this is free or not, yes, this is completely free. Uh, it's free tier eligible and let's go ahead and click on launch instance. So this will take a couple of minutes for the instance to come up. So what we'll do is we'll wait, we'll click on view all instances. Let's wait until the instance is up and running. I see that status check is still initializing. Let me refresh it once more and I'll come back once the status check is two by two passed. All right, uh, now uh, the instance is up and running. Let's, there are multiple ways of logging into this EC2 instance. I'll show you a couple of them. 
So before that, what we'll do is let's check the security groups that we have. I'll also show you the inbound rules what we have. Okay. If you see here, this is all the rules that I have set. So basically, I'm allowing all the you know traffic on this particular security group in the inbound rules, and I'm also allowing all the uh, you know rules, all the ports, all the uh, you know IPs on the outbound rules as well. But that is not how it is. You just have to allow a particular uh, port range and a particular. Um, IP address if you want but as this is going to be a web server we are we need to allow uh, quad zeros along with a particular uh, port range so we'll see what is a port range but before that i'll show you how to log into the ec2 instance so for logging in you just need a public ip address and you also need the public uh, the key pair that you downloaded so i believe you have placed it somewhere in your uh, terminal or in your folders so let's have that handy what I'll do is uh, I'll just go inside this folder so that uh, I can able to access that uh, key pair. So what I'll do, uh, I'll just say uh, CD into downloads as I know that is present in downloads. Uh, let me enlarge the screen a bit for you. Okay. So this looks clear. Now what I will need to do is I, I'll just have to say SSH hyphen I and I need to provide the name of the key pair which is going to be AMC demo. Okay. And I need to provide the username. Username for Ubuntu server would be Ubuntu at the rate and the public IP address that we just copied. If you hit enter, it will SSH. It will ask if you want to connect. Just type yes and you will be inside the server itself. So this is type number one. If you see, we have logged into the Ubuntu server. But I'll rather try to use the instance connect method, but most of you can use it and also get the benefit out of it. So I'll just click on connect and here I'll select EC2 instance connect and I'll just click on connect. It will open the same shell in, in the browser itself so that you don't have to log in. Okay, let's wait for the instance to come up. If you see here, we are inside the instance now. We have logged in as Ubuntu user. So what I'll do is I'll just say sudo su hyphen basically i'm logging in as a root user now i gained the root user privilege now let me clear the screen and this is a brand new ec2 instance for you to use now as you might already know we just have to follow this uh, coolify documentation to install the coolify uh, application all you have to do is just run this command so i'll just copy this one and i'll go to my instance i'll paste it so it will take a couple of minutes to download all the dependencies, all the things that uh, that are going to be installed as part of uh, cool, um, Coolify. It will be downloaded. Let's wait for some time. Um, I'll pause the video or fast forward it until it is done. Okay, if you see, uh, we have received a message saying that congratulations your coolify instance is ready to use so we'll just have to visit this one let's copy this uh, url that they have provided let's go to our favorite browser paste that one and we should be able to access coolify uh, you know account so here we need to first register the user let's go ahead and select uh, amc here and i'll just use am a monk in cloud uh, gmail.com and i'll just give a password I'll use the same password again. All right, let me click on register. So this will give you the onboarding, uh, you know, uh, welcome guide and the onboarding things. So you can skip the onboarding for now. So here, uh, let's disable this pop up also. If you see there are multiple options that they are providing for you, you can use all this. You can try and explore all of these things. Okay, now what we'll do is we'll go to projects, we'll build one project. What I've done is I have uh, taken an example Next.js application. So this is built by uh, this team, creative team. Uh, all credits to him. I am not the developer of Next.js. All credits to him. Basically, if you want to visualize the uh, you know content, this is how the website looks like. So in rather than developing my own website, what I thought I can use, which is already there. So I'm all credits to the code that is written by this team. I'm not taking a single uh, point of credit here. 
all i am doing is i am utilizing the repository and trying to you know deploy that using coolify okay so let's just copy this one i'll just use this one if you want i'll also provide the link to the uh, repository in the description so that you can also use the same let's go ahead and click on add projects and here we will say uh, demo next js just for our simplicity okay let's click on continue and if you see it is going to build a production grade application or an environment for us let's click on that here we need to add a resource basically a resource will be your own repository or your own code let's select that we'll see what are the things that are available to us if you see here you can host your webs of applications present in a public repository or a private repository a private repository with deploy key you can also deploy your docker file docker compose existing docker images you can host your website uh, databases like postgres mysql mariadb mongodb redis all these things so there are many things that uh, you know coolify is offering all credits to them and they are doing an amazing job so let's select public repository for now as our repository is public okay let's go there here i need to paste the repository url i'll do that i'll check the repository if you see here it runs on port 3000 and this is uh, the build pack is nix packs so we'll just click on continue and this will give us all the details okay we'll just make sure if everything is right or wrong and then it is the cool thing is it is also providing you a random domain as well that is really cool but if you want to add your own custom domain i'll show that also please hold uh, till the very end of this video we will see how to do that so what next is just to click on deploy and it will pick all the things that are required there in the repository and deploy it for you automatically you don't have to do anything at all if you see here this is running it and if you want to visualize the logs you can just click on show debug logs here okay so it will give you all the things that are happening in the background okay just refresh the page once and see what is happening okay if you want you can cancel this i'll just hide the debug logs okay so uh, it says deployment is cancelled by user i think i mistakenly uh, cancelled it but let me deploy it again okay it's queued now it is going on picking all the things and it is also trying to host it let's wait for a moment i think it is already done let's go to the configuration and and let's copy this domain let's go and open that in a new tab let's see if it is already running or not if not let's wait for a moment okay this is in progress so let's wait for this to complete if you see here this status is in progress so i think i submitted more than one deployment at the same time so let's see what has happened here let's just refresh the page and let's wait for until uh, you know the all all the execution completes okay if you see now the status is success and the deployment is finished as well okay so if you want to visualize you can just you know access this using http localhost and the port number is 3000 however as you know uh, we also get a, a you know domain as well uh, which is already generated by coolify let's just use that and let's go here refresh the page and see if we have the application running all right if you see here this is a beautiful website that is developed by them and it, it is exactly what we saw right so all the things are working as expected here okay if you see here it, we are we can click we can turn on the toggle we can turn off all the things are working as expected now you might be wondering how to add your own custom domain right so that is one of the biggest thing that we always want to do when we host our own applications so what we need to do is, uh, for example, in my case, what I've used is I'm using Azure DNS zone as my hosting. OK, so uh, that is my domain name. Uh, that is where I have the record sets and everything uh, created. So what I just need to do is I need to create an A record. This is exactly the same for wherever you go, whatever the uh, you know DNS provider that you use, it remains the same. You just have to use the same uh, concept here. I need to give a name called demo. I'm using it demo.yashwantlm.in. But in your case, if you have a domain already purchased, you can go ahead and use it. 
uh, in my case i have purchased it on my azure portal so i'm going to use that here and the type would be a record and alias leave that as default ttl is set to one but unit will be minutes okay here you need to provide the instances public ip let's go to the aws instance here let's copy the public ip address and paste it here i'll click on add and i'll just click on add here so a record has been created already it will take a couple of minutes for it to get reflected and you have to do one more thing here that is to get that added into your into your coolify so i'll show that to you as well so let's just copy this one i'll go to my coolify application where you have to do go to configuration here you see domains just add a comma and just mention https colon slash slash and whatever thing that you copied along with a slash if you want okay so uh, with that said uh, you can just uh, click on generate domain okay so the latest uh, configuration has not been deployed what you can do is you can just you know uh, redeploy again so the domain that you submitted just now will automatically pick and you will be able to access the application with demo.s1lm.in okay so that is what we are trying to do now let's wait until this deployment is completed Okay, uh, let's just try refreshing again. Just remove HTTPS. I think it is taking some time to get propagated, but this is all the steps that you need to perform in order for the you know website to work as expected, right? I think it will take some time, like five or ten minutes, or in 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 some cases it will take more than an hour as well. So we will have to wait until that is done. But this is how you configure it with your own domain name. So there is nothing else that you need to configure. Everything is correct. I have in fact tried it, but uh, this time uh, it is taking more time. So I thought there is some caching issues, but no, uh, it is taking time to get propagated. So you can try this and let us know in the comment how uh, you are going to utilize this demonstration in, in your projects. Tag us and on uh, the, all the social media platforms. Let us know what you're trying to build so that we are also aware of it. And that's all I had for this video. I think uh, uh, if you're liking the content that I'm creating, please consider subscribing and share it with your friends. Thank you and I will see you in the next one.